Good morning on this rainy Monday morning. Somebody last week said, well, at least people have stopped complaining about the rain. And that's really true. We now know there are a whole lot more important things to worry about than the weather. It's been a change of perspective for all of us. Uh, one uh, interesting and, and almost funny change of perspective I had yesterday, I was driving into church so that we could record our video service at church, and uh, every time a truck passed me going the other direction, or I passed a truck going uh, toward church, I just cheered for the truck, for food trucks and for Amazon trucks and other trucks that were obviously delivering supplies, uh, keeping all of those supply lines open. Uh, I was so thankful that they were doing what they needed to do so that we could have food and we could have other supplies. Uh, I have never uh, cheered for a truck before that, that I can remember, but literally, I just couldn't help myself, but just raise my hand and say, yay, thank you, and I don't think they knew what was going on. If they did, they probably thought I was, I was half crazy, uh, but my perspective has changed, and I am so thankful for truck drivers. That reminds me of one of my favorite verses in uh, Philippians, or really my, one of my favorite verses in the Bible. When somebody is really annoying me, or some situation is annoying me, or I'm worried, I think about what Paul said to the church at Philippi. He says toward the end, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. When somebody annoys me, I try to figure out what about them is noble? What about them is praiseworthy? What about them is excellent? And that helps me uh, have kind of a change in perspective. Cheering for truck drivers. Remembering how thankful we are for medical professionals. Uh, knowing that people who work in the grocery industry are now our heroes. My brother-in-law is a manager in a food store, and he has been working just unbelievable hours the last couple of weeks just to keep uh, food on the shelves and to keep everything stocked and to make sure that he can serve customers. And he knows that he is putting himself in danger. He's coming in contact with thousands of people uh, every day, and yet he's doing it because he wants uh, for the food supply to remain stable. I have a friend in Easley, South Carolina, who's a nurse, and we've been corresponding back and forth a little bit via email, and she's been sharing with me uh, some of the difficulties that some of the healthcare professionals have been facing, but also the ways that they're making a difference. And I'm so thankful for her, and so thankful for all of those who are healthcare professionals or who work in grocery stores or truck drivers, and we have all of those in our church as well. So my encouragement to you this day is if there is anything that's true or noble or right or pure or lovely or admirable or excellent or praiseworthy, think about those things. And when you think about people who are our new heroes, you know, Mr. Rogers told us whenever there's a difficult time to look for the helpers. When you think about the helpers that you have in your life, whether you know them personally or not, make sure that you thank them Make sure that you pray for them. Send them a card, send them a text, give them a call. Let them know that you are thankful because of the excellent, praiseworthy stuff that they are doing on our behalf. Stay safe and know that God is with us. Amen.